Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another Tech Talk. Today's subject is going to be on the K style type inflator. We are going to discuss the uh, internal and external differences of what are seemingly similar K type valves. Going from left to right, we have the dive right valve uh, inflator, which is uh, supplied by dive right on their wings. Uh, we have here the case style inflator supplied by X Deep. Here is a generic type inflator valve, and this is also a generic type inflator valve. Uh, you'll notice that these inflator valves. Uh, differ with respect to color buttons. These have a gray color buttons on them and then also some of the inflator valves also have serial numbers like this one here. K valves can also differ internally. Uh, here are uh, two uh, types again. This is the dive right and this is the X deep. Uh, if you look inside the dive right inflator, you will see a metal hexagonal uh, bolt. And uh, this is what uh, you would need to use to uh, disassemble uh, this particular inflator. On the other hand, on the X deep type inflator, you may be able to see that there is actually a nylon socket uh, that takes a wrench an Allen wrench in order to disassemble this. With both of these types of K-style inflators, uh, there's a tool that you could use that costs about $8. And if you wanted to disassemble the inflation cartridge, you would take the tool and the spanner wrench tool and you would uh, disassemble it by turning uh, and extracting uh, the cartridge. The same tool will also fit on the other types of inflators. Same thing, you would just rotate them and pull them out. To get the inflation button off with the dive right type inflator, you would take a screwdriver like this and you would insert it into the uh, against the hex key or the hex nut and then you would attempt to unscrew the deflation button by turning it counterclockwise. The type of K inflator with the nut uh, is somewhat more difficult to do. What you will have to do is insert a hex key an Allen wrench, and this can vary in size between 5 30 seconds and 4.5 millimeters. So essentially, uh, you're going to stick this down in there into the socket, and you're going to try to rotate uh, the uh, deflation button off, and it will come apart like this. Okay, like that. This is the nut that secures the deflation button. Here are the two inflation cartridges. On the left is the dive right inflation cartridge. And you'll notice that it has the little hex head bolt here. And on the other type of inflator cartridge, you'll notice that it has a screw slot here. To disassemble these, you would use, obviously, you would use an a, uh, a crescent wrench uh, to disassemble this. And this uh, simply disassembles uh, with a screwdriver. Here are the different internal parts, components of the inflator. Uh, inflators. The one on the left again is the dive right. The one on the right is the style that the rest of the inflators utilize. And so um, here is the uh, hex bolt. 
uh, that um, uh, is necessarily uh, necessary to unscrew in order to disassemble it. Uh, it has two O-rings. It has an O-ring here, and it has an O-ring here. And uh, if your inflator starts to uh, starts to leak, uh, you might have hardened lubricant, or you might have uh, some corrosion or some debris surrounding those two. On the right-hand side are the um, other types of inflators. Uh, these also have a uh, O-ring right here, and they also have a very tiny O-ring here on the end of the screw nut, which we would use to disassemble it. Here are the deflation button components. The dive right system again is on the left. This is the hex head bolt that you will need to uh, insert uh, and hold with a uh, screwdriver and um, there's an o-ring on here and that threads into this component here the non-dive right or other types of uh, deflation buttons consist of the plastic nut uh, that requires the 532nd or 4.5 millimeter uh, allen wrench and then the spring of course and then the uh, top button which is a one piece unit which does not uh, require disassembly. So those are some of the internal and external differences between the different types of K valves that are on the, available on the market and so um, unless you disassemble or take a look at your K valve you will not know which type you have uh, and what types of tools you need in case you need to service it. Uh, one other thing that I would like to say uh, is that um, uh, it is possible to disassemble the K-valve uh, inflation cartridge without one of these tools. And I discovered this uh, on a recent trip in which I could not find my uh, K-valve tool. And so what I did was I took a four-prong fork and I bent the two outer spines 90 degrees and I was able to use uh, the fork uh, to get into the two grooves where these uh, two things um, uh, engage. So uh, if you find yourself on a trip and your inflator is uh, leaking and you need to disassemble it, uh, if you don't have one of these tools, uh, it is still possible to quite easily uh, disassemble your inflator. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.